We can set up our analysis by coming to our analysis ribbon tab and over to static analysis sets under the setup grouping. In the analysis sets dialog, we will select create default sets to open the create analysis sets dialog. This will help guide us to create our analysis set. And the one thing we do want to check on, we're just creating a single analysis set with nonlinear analysis checked on. But we also want to check on include pressure extension because when we have jacket piping, a pipe within a pipe, the axial loads of pressure are very important and we want to include them. With that, we can click create sets at the bottom. Uh, it tells us all previous load sets will be deleted, which is fine. So we can say yes. And we have one analysis set created. We can run this. We can click OK in this dialog box. And from the analysis ribbon tab, We'll just select static to allow it to quickly run through. And we're ready to review our results, but the first thing uh, that we want to check on is again, to include the axial forces because uh, we again, will have significant axial forces between the carrier and jacket pipe due to the different operating conditions and the different material properties. Uh, we have a stainless carrier pipe and a carbon steel jacket pipe and we have a really cold carrier pipe uh, and, a, and a hotter jacket pipe. So we wanna make sure we include those axial differences. And we can do that by coming to the result ribbon tab. Under result options, we'll select result model options. And in here, there's an option to include axial forces. And we want to check that on. If you hit F1 on your keyboard, this will open the Contextual will help to give a little bit more information about what is including. So we are going to include the effect of the axial force for calculating the stresses in the sustained and occasional categories. So I'll close the help. I'll click OK in the result model options dialog, and we can review our results um, on screen. First, we can come over to our interactive grouping and select our code stresses. And I'll just select to use the all combination and click OK. We see we have our highest code stress over at point F4 with a ratio of 0.49, so fairly low. It's in the expansion case. And again, this is just using our default combinations. We can always modify and add to our combinations that we're reviewing. But in this example, just using our default combinations. And we can review other results. For example, if we came back to the interactive grouping, we can look at our displacements and we can review the operating case and animate it. And when we click OK, we see that animation. And notice that the carrier piping is contracting a bit while the jacket piping is expanding a bit. And it looks like they are definitely clashing. If we stop the displacement exaggeration and actually look at some values, for example, over at this elbow, the carrier pipe is moving a total of 0.2 inches. The jacket piping is moving a total of 0.1 inches. So they're actually not moving that drastically, but there is no automatic way to check if the pipe is clashing over at these bends or at the points in between the supports. Notice that even the points at the supports they look like they're clashing too. And that's just due to the exaggeration of the displacement calculation. Um, obviously those aren't, we are supporting the carrier within the jacket uh, at these guides. Um, so those actually aren't clashing, but you do need to manually check the differential of displacements at key points like the bends, the T point, all the points in between the actual supports to make sure they're not clashing. So this is something that uh, we hope to have a tool for in the future, but currently it would need to be manually checked. And you can go on and you can check your support forces and your restraint reactions. You can check all your forces and moments, um, and you can do that using the results grid or the reports uh, as you normally would do for any project. But at this point, this concludes uh, the training for jacketed piping on the Autopipe Intermediate Learning Path. Thank you for joining.
If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.